Today we're going to talk about why you should respect money. Also, I'm feeling a little bit better. One of the part, the hardest things of a heart attack is is how much it drains you. I mean, seriously. Uh, you know, day by day we're making it. First of all, if you're trying to get money, you should be respecting money. Respecting money is having a gang plan on how to get money because there's so many people out there who have this front on that they're trying to get money, but they're doing stuff that is counterproductive to getting money. So one of the first steps you should do is have a plan for what you're going to do with the money before you get it. There should be places where you're going to put this money and where it's going to go. Also, you need to have some backup plans. Like, I didn't expect this stuff to happen that happened. So this is actually slowing down a big ambitious plan that I have. Also, for those of you who still, uh, I got some questions. Um, there is nothing going on with Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. It's not closed. It's not down. I don't know what that was about. I got one question about that. When will it be opened up again? It's fully opened right now. The whole thing of going forward. Well, I should say the whole thing about respecting money is you got to get it. And this cold is just uh, it's a pain in the butt. But if you're going to get money, you got to have a appetite and a process to get money. There are many ways that people can get money that they don't want to use those ways to get money because those ways are not sexy. They're not exciting. But if you're in a situation where you need money, you should not turn your nose up at that type of stuff. Uh, one of the things that we're doing right now, and we have uh, two tracks, is Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, which will hook up most people, and then Money, Income, and Profit, which will be about creating online businesses. So that's some stuff that's still coming. And for anyone that's in it curious, the links to everything are under this video. <laughs> but one of the things you got to do is put the determination in your mind that you're going to make more money. I would just start off with the five checking accounts because that sets your mind up to where you already have a sorting system of where money's going to go before you get the money. And this is very important. Uh, many, many people are not situated with their five checking account system, which is as a single person, you really need it as a married person with kids you absolutely need it and as someone who's trying to start a business because essentially you're going to have your five checking accounts set up for personal as well as business and it will make such a huge difference in how your business goes one of the big issues i see this happens with people is the lack of respect for money when you respect money from a very spiritual 
earthy position, the way that you treat it is very different. Because, you know, we, we've talked about this before. You want to create at your system a system in your life where money comes to you without this, with the least amount of hindrance. And a big part of hindrance is preconceived mindsets, um, ego, and listening to the wrong people. You can't listen to anybody with, who has no money about how to make money. That's like listening to a fish on how to become a rock climber. It just typically is not going to go that way. <laughs> but in short, you should have the utmost respect for money. For money to be living in your life in, in a great abundance. The more respect you have for money, the more likely you are to have money in your life when you need it more so than when you need it when you don't need it um, it's a hard concept to drill down to someone who's in a state of perpetual lack this person doesn't have any money this person's trying to get money this person always needs money. Well, when you have the principles, and this is something I talked about, have some money in your wallet, have some money in your checking account, have some money on your credit card. These are tricks and traits of people who always have money. And it's building the process of being able to have money consistently it's a, a personal journey and I mean I think many of you are on this journey and there are some of you who are getting ready to embark on this journey it's a journey you should get on today it's a journey that you should uh, start working on right now with what you have whether you have $2 or $3 or $4 or $500 or $600. It all starts with having a few dollars. Having just some money somewhere. That's where it begins. Because you're not going to make your first $1,000 before you make your first dollar. Just not going to happen. Alright, for those of you who need some additional help. There's courses below, and uh, there's more stuff that's coming as we get this train rolling again. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video.